Hey, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Cubs versus Cardinals Major League Baseball matchup on Sunday, August 4th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks. Just go to PickDogs.com and click on the premium picks tab. I've also got a link in the description directly below this video that you can click on, make it nice and easy for you to find our best bets. If you're looking for VIP packages, our most expensive premium picks, well, just text the number you see on the screen. It's not a free pick line, parlay bailout, trial, none of those things, or one-day package. It is a long-term winning solution for people that make big bets. If that's you, text the number. Anyways, let's get to this one. It's the Cubs taking on the Cardinals. Of course, the oldest rivalry in all of sports. These teams hate each other's guts. Not a lot of motivation needed on e- from either side, but, um, you know, The way these teams are playing, the Cardinals have a shot at the postseason, and the Cubs, well, they would love to make it a little bit more difficult for the Cardinals going forward. Justin Steele gets the ball here for the Cubs. He got racked last time out against the Cincinnati Reds. He did go five innings, giving up five earned runs, a home run, four walks, six hits. I'll tell you, while he only gave up the uh, five runs in that one, it looked a lot worse than that. And, you know, it was over early, I think, is really the problem with it, is that he gave up two in the first inning and two, you know, it was it was over before it started. A lot of those, you know, a lot of, even though he went five innings, the last three innings were pretty clean. It was just, like I said, over before it started. Um, two games back against the Diamondbacks, it was the same story. We allowed nine hits in four and two-thirds innings in that one. And that game, of course, was at Wrigley Field. For the season, Steele's numbers look a lot better. 3.38 ERA, nine home runs, 27 walks, and 101 and third innings of pitch. But it is a 7.2 ERA over his last three starts. He is not playing that well. Miles Michaelis for the Cardinals. If you could figure this guy out, well, let me know. Because to me, this guy is just very tough to figure out. You never know what you're going to get. You know, it seems that he always seems to make those mistakes. He always seems to pay for his mistakes. And at the same time, he seems to be able to turn it around and keep the Cardinals in it long enough that, you know, he doesn't usually pay the price. And that's why the Cardinals have won four of his last five starts, even though he hasn't really pitched all that well. He's got a 4.99 ERA. He's allowed 18 home runs over 124 and, and uh a third innings of work. He doesn't walk a lot of batters. He's only walked 20 batters this season, but he's given up 133 hits in that 124 and a third innings of work. So he doesn't walk batters on base. They hit their way on. He's got a 4.08 ERA over his last three starts. And I say this every time Michaelis pitches against the Cubs. The main reason he's on the Cardinals is because he pitches really well against the Chicago Cubs. The Cards 9-4 and four in his last 13 against, against the Cubs. The thing is, the Cards haven't played all that well at Wrigley recently, just 2-6 in their last, in their last uh, eight times there. But the Cubs just 5-16 and 16 in Steele's last 21 starts. So a lot of bad mojo going on here. The Cubs hitting just 207 versus right-handed pitching over the last 10 games while the Cardinals punishing lefties to the tune of 274. But the Cardinals bullpen has been deplorable. 5.55 ERA over their last 10 while the Cubs 1.93. I don't know. It just seems to me that every time Michaelis pitches against the Cubs, I always take the Cardinals. And I'll tell you what, it's paid dividends just about every single year except for last season was the only season he really came up empty. I'm just going to ride it till the wheels fall off. And I'll tell you, Justin Steele, I bet on him last time against against the Reds, and I was just hating it from the first inning on. I'm going to take the Cardinals, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They're 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.